Hey guys, Dr. Zim here, and welcome to another video about Minecraft involving redstone. Yay! So basically, what I've done here is I've created an infinite dispenser using a command block and a redstone timer. So basically, what this will do is it will spawn, um, it will spawn an infinite amount of items forever unless you stop the clock or delete the command block. Um, and it's basically anything that you would place down. So basically if I had a powered rail, that would work. Any block would work. Um, flowers would work, but I don't think vines would work or ladders. Well, no, they. I think they would work. But things like if I were to put in the ID for arrow, um, and then I just tried that, it would just put out the falling sand. So if you guys saw quickly what this um, thing did, is using the new Minecraft snapshot, um, it's, oh gosh, I'm forgetting the snapshot name, but um, it summons a falling sand, and this is important right here, um, it summons it right where the command block is, and so basically what that does is since it can't p replace the command block, it simply just dispenses it out. So then you put in the tile ID, basically, um, whichever ID. So if I want to spawn in stone, um, then I'll put in one. If I want to spawn in dirt, then I'll put in three. And I think that's dirt that never turns into grass. And then you have to put in time one, and I think it's one to 170. Doesn't really matter with that. But let me just show you what it does. So if I do that, look at all that. Look at all that. It's just dispensing. And then to stop it, I just destroy the redstone, and look at all that dirt I just got. It's going to be in my survival inventory. And also, if you try stuff like shrubs, since you can place those down, it does work. As you can see, look, look, look dead bush, shrub, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that is my infinite dispenser thing. What I've done with the redstone timer here, here I'll just build it for you, is you place down a redstone torch. A comparator and then you right click it again to set it to subtraction mode and then you basically do this and you see it creates a clock now you can't put a command block right here see if I copy the um, command um, oops and then I put it right here it won't work because it's too close there's a certain distance um, I'm not sure what it is let's let's experiment here okay it has to be like two redstone away from the um, from the original output in order to work but other than that guys I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something from it and maybe you can put it into your own maps but that is all I have for you today my name is Dr. Zim and goodbye viewers